Joel Gay, energy recovery is in the water desalination business. Your shares are up almost 100% so far this year. But before we talk about the stock, tell me more about energy recovery. Yeah, sure. Energy recovery is more, most broadly a, an energy solutions provider. We, in essence, make industrial processes more efficient by reducing the electricity or energy consumption required to effectuate the process. So we are in the business of trading pressure energy. And water desalination, it's about 90% of your revenue. We keep hearing that water is the next big commodity. So what's the opportunity there? Well, in, in the long run, the opportunity is massive. As you look at the more uh, water-starved economies throughout the globe, in particular in the Middle East and North Africa, uh, our technology enables the production of, of potable water by rendering it fresh from seawater through a process that's known as reverse osmosis desalination. And given the fact that we have a 90% market share in that market, as and when that, that great tsunami around the world's most uh, scarce commodity arrives, we'll be well positioned to perform and, and take advantage of that. And you're also working in the energy industry. You just signed a deal with Schlumberger to help reduce the cost of their fracking. It's your Vortec technology. Can you tell me about this deal? Yeah, absolutely. So a, a massive deal for our company, a 15-year exclusive license uh, executed with the Schlumberger Corporation for our Vortec technology, which enables, uh, from a cost reduction standpoint, hydraulic fracturing to extract hydrocarbons. Uh, long story short, we can drive down the cost per barrel to frack a well by up to $5, hence the compelling nature of the offering. And is this a long-term contract? How do you get paid on these deals? Well, so it, it's a 15-year deal uh, that uh, carries with it a annual royalties per unit deployed into the field. In addition to that, we were paid forward $75 million on day one for the uh, rights of exclusivity. And then we expect to take receipt of an incremental $50 million this year as and when we achieve two milestones. So over the 15-year term, we're, we value it at approximately 3 to $4 billion. So a very big deal for our company. And that's not the only deal you signed. You're also going to be doing work in the Middle East uh, for a, a big energy conglomerate uh, who shall remain nameless. Sure. This is your uh, ISOBoost technology. Can you tell me about this particular deal? Yeah, that's as right. As much as you can. Yeah, sure. So we, we recently uh, executed a, a purchase order up to $11 million for the world's largest producer of hydrocarbons that's located in the GCC in, in the Middle East. And that is for our ISOBoost technology, which is a hydraulic turbocharger, which in essence reduces the cost to sweeten sour gas by up to 60%. So we're very excited about, it, uh, excited about that opportunity and excited about that technology. All right, and then finally, stock has been running much higher. I mentioned that previously. That said, there are a lot of doubters out there. About 13 or 14 percent of the shares have been sold short. Uh, what is your view of what's going on in terms of the doubters out there? Do you plan to sell more stock now that the stock's moved higher? Uh, how are you going to confront this? Okay, well, let's start with our, our financial stability. We have an extremely robust balance sheet in excess of $100 million net cash, which is to say we carry no debt. So there are no immediate plans nor needs for uh, financing or, or cash, in essence. With respect to the shorts, uh, we were recently reported as the number one performing stock in California over the last 12 months and the fourth best performing stock nationally. So we have and we will continue to be bad news for those who short our company. Pick another company. All right. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and talking about it. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.